Shalom. I'm Bishop Nathaniel of the Israel United in Christ. As Israel United in Christ, our mission is to gather the 12 tribes of Israel scattered worldwide. Those blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians who have been colonized and enslaved throughout the world. Christ told us in Matthew, the 28th chapter, this many times you often hear the scripture, I just wanted to read it. Uh, Matthew 28 and verse 19, Christ commanded, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. When he said, Go therefore and teach all nations, the understanding is based upon Deuteronomy 4.27, Deuteronomy 28 and verse 64, that the Israelites would be colonized and enslaved, taken from their homeland and scattered worldwide, like it says in James 1 and 1. Greetings to the 12 tribes scattered abroad. So our mission is to gather them and teach them that they are the Israelites and bring them back together again as that one mighty nation. We're not a hate group, like the SPLC, that's a, a slur campaign that they're doing. We're the only group on this planet that I'm aware of gathering the descendants of the slave trade, gathering those that were colonized, hypnotized, and destroyed. We're the only group doing that. Nobody else cares about us. We're also not a uh, modern day Christian group that goes around worshiping a Caucasian Jesus. We don't teach that, the Bible doesn't teach that. Heck, when you read Revelation 1, 14 and 15, it says Christ was so dark, he looked like he was burned in a furnace and his hair was like wool, okay, which is Afro hair. So that's the Messiah, that's our king. Not a European man taught to us during the time of slavery, okay, that's who we're not. Israel United in Christ, we teach about family. Family is the foundation for a nation. I remember the Elder Marshall used to always say, it's nation time. Uh, and it's important for us because we have been destroyed as a nation. When you read Zephaniah 2 verse 1, the prophet Zephaniah says through the Spirit of God, gather yourselves together, yea, gather together, O nation not desired. Nobody desires us, okay? We, that's why they scattered us divided us with various religions and political groups, uh, gave, miseducated us as a people. So now us coming back together, our family it has to begin with the family. Once the man and the woman gets their minds right, they must come together as one as in marriage, and then that's the foundation for a nation. A strong family builds a strong nation. And that's what the Bible is about. That's what we're teaching. Uh, when we read 1 Corinthians, the 11th chapter, verse 3, uh, the Lord said through the Apostle Paul that, uh, I'm paraphrasing, um, God is the head of Christ, Christ is the head of the man, and man is the head of the woman. Now, you may see that as misogynistic, but it is not. It is order. There must be order when you're nation building. When you examine all other nations, okay, it goes there, God, followed by the man, followed by the woman. But for some reason, when it comes to the black man and black woman, Latin man, Latin woman, Native American Indian man, Native American Indian woman, it's top and curvy. It goes woman, then the man. And it's, it's, this is why we are dysfunctional as a people. We must set things back in order, in love, according to Bible. The urgency is very paramount because the Bible prophesies about nuclear war coming. You see nation rising against nation. You hear about rumors of war. Rumor is something that you hear about, although it has not occurred. Uh, so these are dire, desperate times. Our education is getting worse and worse. Uh, the, the concept of marriage is almost lost in the black and Latino community. So it's very desperate. These are desperate times for us. We must come back together and it's urgent before destruction comes. J. Edgar Hoover said the most dangerous thing that he could ever think of was black unity. Why is that a dangerous thing? All other nations operate and think collectively. Why must a black man that man be an individual. Why can't we operate collectively? We must learn to operate collectively so that we can rise up our nation, get our families in order, make them functional opposed to dysfunctional. It's very important for our people to understand that concept. And that's what God and Christ is teaching us in the Holy Bible. We used to scream black power. 
while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.